We have got another $1,001 $1 bills to hunt for you guys today. No Federal Reserve brick this time. The bank only had teller straps. If you want to know what teller straps are, they're straps that are made by the tellers based on the deposits that come in, whether they're from businesses or individuals. And as soon as they have 100, they strap them up. That being said, unless the teller is keen and savvy to serial numbers that are special, we could get lucky. Stay tuned for a $1,001 $1 bill hunt. Hey everyone, it's Rob Finds Treasure. Welcome back to the channel. I pretty much set up everything in the beginning of the video about what we're doing today. And for those that are new to bill searching, I have a ton of bill information and resources listed down below in the video description. Feel free to check out everything that's there. We'll be looking for star notes. We'll be looking for fancy serial numbers. We'll be looking for web notes, any bar notes, older bills, printing errors, things like that. I have my mats also here, and if you want to know where to get these mats to assist you with looking for fancy bills, I'll have a link to those right here. Feel free to check them out along with all the mats that I sell. Now, obviously, we'd love to find some fancy serial numbers, but realistically, in these straps, I'm hoping to get 10 star notes and maybe a rare one or two. That would be cool. You guys know the drill. 10 straps, I'll be hunting them off camera, and in the event I come across something super fun, I'll bring you guys back in. Otherwise, I'll be doing strap recaps or strap wrap-ups at the end of every one of the straps. Fingers crossed we get some good finds. Hopefully the teller didn't cherry pick all the goodies out of him. I'll be back at the end of the first strap. We just finished strap one and it did give us a star note. And for those wondering, at the end of the video, all of today's star notes will be researched on the star note lookup site, which I have listed down below in the video description to see if we have any rare ones. We also got a reverse tombstone note, 2011, 1976. It'd been better if it was 1976, 2011. But then again, if it's a father and a son or a mother daughter type combination where the child was born in 2011 and the parent was 1976, could be a collectible note. It's a reverse tombstone, not a true tombstone, but I'm gonna hold on to it because it's kind of cool. And then we almost had a repeater, 9185, 1185. Needed that middle one to be a nine and it would have been a 9185, 9185. Although it's a close call, it's not a keeper. We're gonna keep two notes from that strap and we're gonna move on to strap number two next. Unfortunately, strap number two was a complete bust. Nothing to share with you guys. Hopefully we have more luck in strap number three. Strap number three has been hunted. It was another tough strap, but we had a close call, kind of. Had the first two digits in the serial number been 49, it would have been what's known as a super repeater with two numbers repeated four times. At that 18, it would have been 49. It would have been 49, 49, 49, 49. I just thought it was cool because it looks good, but man. It's either way, I wanted to show you that we almost had a super repeater to an extent and to give you a little information about those. They do fetch good money. That's not one. Three straps down. Only two finds, only one star note. Come on, strap number four. Well, strap number four was our best strap. It actually gave us three star notes, so now we're back on pace. Four star notes through four straps. It also gave me a older bill, as you can see here. This is a 1999 note, and it's kind of a mixed ladder. We have zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, and nine. But I don't normally keep bills like this, but I've had a few subscribers reach out to me lately and say, Rob, when you do these bill strap hunts, any bills from 1999 and earlier, can you set aside? And if we want them, we'll reach out to you. So I'm gonna set this one aside and start a collection of 99 and older notes that way down the road, if one of my subscribers needs these notes for their collections, they can reach out to me. And then I'm also gonna keep this five of a kind note. It's got twos in the middle, two, 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 two. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep it. I do keep five of a kind notes that start with five numbers, end with five numbers, or have five in a row in the middle. So not the best condition, but we'll keep it regardless. Five keepers on that strap. Let's move on to strap number five and see if we stay hot. Strap number five was another good strap. Two more star notes now gives us six star notes through five straps, and we'll definitely take that. We also had almost a nice binary note. 717-11119. Had that nine been a seven, it would have been a nice binary. I would have kept it for sure. It is a trinary note. With all the ones, it's probably kind of collectible, probably worth more than face value. 
but not one I'm going to hold on to. Had the ones been in a row for five, I would have kept it. Anyway, somewhat fancy. Probably can get a few bucks for it, but I'm not going to hold on to it. And then take a look at this. Haven't seen a low serial number in a while. Starts with four zeros. Anything under 10,000 is a low serial number. Of course, you do want them to be under 1,000. And more importantly, if you get under 100, it's a really low serial number. But 10,000 or less does fetch some value. In other words, it has to start with four zeros to start fetching some value. Probably a $3 note in this condition. It's got a crease, not in the best shape. And it is a little more collectible because even though it's under 10,000, it also has a total of six zeros. So kind of cool. I'll definitely be holding on to that one up here. And now we have six star notes and four somewhat cool notes, 10 finds through five straps with five to go. Come on, strap six, stay hot. Well, you knew our lucky streak had to run out. Strap six was pretty much a bust. One note of note, almost another binary, 707-0474. Needed those fours to be sevens or zeros. But either way, I wanted to point it out because it does have some of the lucky sevens in there. Just wanted to show you that was the best note of that strap, and it's not even that nice. All right, strap seven, get us back on some goodies. Strap number seven, another fun strap. Two more star notes now, and uh, that is eight star notes through seven straps. And on top of that, take a look at this 1988A series note. It's in pretty nice condition overall for being as old as it is. Now, also on 1988A, you do want to check them to see if the printing plate is above one or not below it. And when I turn this note around, no printing plate number up here. It's down there, which means it's not a web note. And of course, you can check these notes on the front as well over here. But I just wanted to point out that uh, I checked this for a web note. It's not a web note, but it's a really nice older note. And I'll definitely hold on to it for one of the subscribers who likes the older notes. Three keepers in that strap. Strap eight coming up next. Strap number eight was a bust. Only one close call to being a binary, fives and eights, but that six messed it up. It's just a regular trinary. We'll be sending it back. Come on, strap nine. We need two more star notes to get 10 for 10 straps. Strap number nine was a dud strap, so it's going to make us work for two more star notes. Kind of like the last hunt. We've been good, but we need two more. The only note of interest is another 1999 note. Nothing fancy about the serial number, but I'll hold on to it like we've done already for the older notes. One strap to go. Two star notes or something fancy is what we need. Well, strap number 10 did give us one more star note for nine. And like last hunt, we got it like in the first 20 bills. And I was like, we can get to 10, but we didn't. Either way, still a good hunt. Nine star notes, which we'll plug here in a second to the star note lookup site to see if we have any more rare ones. We got three better serial numbers that I'm keeping for myself, a low serial number, a five of a kind, and a reverse tombstone, and then three older bills, two from 1999, not in the greatest shape, but that 1988A is a beauty. And like I said, I'm just going to hold on to these till I get a bunch of them, and then I'll reach out to those subscribers to see if they want a package deal with a bunch of older bills. We'll have to see. Either way, this is what we're keeping. I have to replace one note in here and strap that back up, and the missing notes should be all of these for that one and since I pulled out 15 notes that should be $85 worth of bills. Let me go ahead now and plug these into the startup lookup site and I'll be back in a second with a recap of the rarity and the print runs of all of those. All right we have plugged all of the star notes into the startup lookup site. These are from 2017. These are 2017 series A. All of them are common except for one. Common notes like this Fetch about 2 to $3 each versus the $1 because they are replacement notes. This one's obviously pretty uh, discolored, but it doesn't matter. These are all common except for this 2017A. Whenever you get a 2017A from F with over 16 million as the serial number, I always remember it does have a smaller print run of only 250,000 as far as the print run size. Problem is... Look at all those notes. They printed 10.99 million. So while it's 
up the midpoint on the run size as far as rarity. It's very common with the total printed. That might add an extra buck at most. It needed to be rare on both scales. Either way, we got nine star notes. Can't get mad at that. I'll be adding them to my star note collection. And we got some other stuff as well for the collection. And that's always a good sign when you can get 15 fines in 10 straps because that's more than one per strap as far as fines are concerned. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this 10 strap bill hunt. If you did, I certainly would appreciate that thumbs up. And as always, everyone, happy hunting and thanks for watching.